they gave 71 false positives. They retested the same people and none of them tested positive. The real question is, what do you do in an instance like that in the regular season? That's going to be the question, man. Because they're going to have to have the emergency cats. Because they're going to be able to um, carry more than the, the normal. Uh, how many people suit up? Is it, um, 59. 64 people on the team. 50. More than that, man? I don't know. I mean, this shit is un... Somebody, if somebody, if, if, if Mitchell Trubisky, Negative. Thank God. Um, oh, oh, my phone. Ah, on game day. Uh, and um, buddy can go. Who they going to get? They can call you up. You can throw those exact same interceptions. But I'm going to be over. Man, they can prove it. All they have to do is call you and be like, hey, they get annoyed. Just throw it to the wrong jersey. We won't even know Mitch ain't playing. And I give him I give him I give him this my class so he can go play. With himself. Shout out to uh my man. <laughs> Shout out to man out west. That was a dope list. My man out west put a list in the get down. Luca Doncic, Jamal Murray, Donovan Mitchell, Zach Levine, and Trey Young. It is a dope list, man. It's better than Joe and uh Big Illinois, especially since you didn't know the question was coming and they did. And they forgot Bradley Bill. Yep, I'm dissing y'all live on it. Yeah, I forgot about it. I keep thinking these chances in the league over, man. That was a problem when I first started my life. That's called Google. Hey, man. That's why you got fired last time. Yeah. Make sure you bring that up at the unemployment here. For being unprepared. But hey, check this out. So I, I got the uh, power rankings for the, the ones before, uh, two weeks before the season starts. Um, number 10, they got the Vikings. Nine, they got the Titans. Eight, they got the Cowboys. Seven, the Packers. Uh, six, the Bucks. Five, the Seahawks. Four, the Saints. Three, the 49ers. Two, the Ravens. And one, the KC. Y'all agree with that list? Nope, because the coach ain't on there. Boy, if you don't get your ass out of here with Bill Murray as your quarterback. <laughs> nah, I, I, I like that list, though. Yeah, that's a, that, I agree with that list before uh, Earl Thomas' dumbass got cut. I still think the uh, Ravens defense going to be good. Though. Yeah, they got to have the Ravens defense going to be good. Because they got the Bills coming back next week. Yeah, but they got the Bills defense going to be good. Nope, because if you got the GOAT on your team, you need to be number one. Remember, all they needed was a better quarterback because Jameis Winston is the devil. I think, so what's considered a failed season for Tom Brady? Because he Anything but Brady. Super Bowl champion. So why you signed the GOAT? Because you had a climbing, you had a, a defense on the rise the last eight games of the season. They was rocking. To me, you don't sign Tom Brady and cut a young, blossoming quarterback if you're not going to the Super Bowl. Yep. Uh, 
Ah, não, não tem que ser. É, and see, the thing is, it's amazing to me how. Just going off of what the coach said, as far as his response was, I mean, we can get any quarterback to run this offense pretty much. I don't think they would have paid him the money that he was commanded, to be honest. What's crazy, though, is Jamie Winston got eye surgery. Mm-hmm. He got like he got like eye surgery within the last like since since the season's been over. So he yeah, might know, like right after the season was over. So I don't know. Like cutting him man, if anything, put him on, put him put him behind Tom Brady just in case he get hurt. Just in case Tom Brady get hurt. He already know the offense. He excelled. But he did what he could last year. Now the thirty interceptions, all of them wasn't his fault. You know. So we so just to say we know he he got uh, he's accounted for thirty. But 30 wasn't on him. We know that. We know that. All I know is Lewis Riddick said, Lewis Riddick said on 15 out of 30, people either quit on the ball or they ran the wrong route. They led the league in sacks last season. So let's just say sacks cost them three. That's 30 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. That's a normal year. That's a that's 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 a damn good year. What about so um Ben's looking arm is stronger than um Tom Brady? Your arm might be stronger than Tom Brady. If that's the thing as far as, uh, sorry about the voice, that's what um, If that's the thing, then shit, Tom Brady might have to go for 30 in the 72 minutes. Oh no, they went and got an offensive line for him. They got offensive linemen for him. Oh. But if he still come out here with 30 interceptions, I don't want to hit nothing. But I bet you they're gonna, I bet you they're gonna, they're gonna make sure they say. Every time it's they, they say 30. Well, you know, a lot of shoes been on them. Hey, they draft, uh, Drake said, Fools, Boston, and Winston. Uh, yeah. When you throw 30 touchdowns and a former NFL exec say 15 of them, 15 of your alleged mistakes were not your fault, that's blossoming. And because the offense is a deep ball throwing offense, and y'all got the shittiest line in the NFC, and you still put up those kind of numbers. Yeah, that's blossoming. But he do, he do hold the ball. Uh, he was holding the ball. Uh, uh, um, he should have. But if, hey, but if, but if, the, if the route is 15 yards, I'm not going to throw it when you can't away. So I need time back there. I need the time for you to get those 15 yards. Or at least be able to run so I can throw it further than that. So that means that you can't throw your receivers over. Now that also means that I'm trying I call hiking and somebody on me already. Or better yet, look at history. Uh this same coach, Coach Andrew Luck, he had the most interceptions in his career. This same coach, Coach uh, uh Ben Roethlisberger, he had the most interceptions he had in his career. This coach, Coach Jameis Winston, and he throws for 30 interceptions. What about Brian Jones? How many interceptions did he throw a lot? Uh, <clears throat> he had like 22. <laughs> 22 what, in one year or the whole season? In one year. Thank you, brother. No one, no one talks about all that though. Because is it Bruce Aarons that makes people throw these interceptions? Because he's trying to force stuff where it's not up, or keep calling these plays. Like I said, if the if the players to develop 15 yards down, and I'm I'm getting somebody on me, or I got to run out of my pocket as soon as I call height. 
I have no time for the player to develop. So I'm gonna try and for it. And that's when the mistakes come about. Or people, like you said, run the wrong route, or they gave up. Or they couldn't catch it, so they kicked it in the in the safety behind them to get in the get the interception. Yeah, he didn't even mention oh, those. <laughs> and then you like, got to see. You get wrong when they hit it with your hands and, and it slips through your hands or something like that. Or you catch it, try and catch it with your chest and it pop up and somebody else catch it. We don't talk about that. Receivers mess up too. Unless you Bill Murray. Yeah, okay. That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt this week. You know, I wouldn't even mind if it wasn't a football season just because he's my quarterback. I'm sorry, football fan. <laughs> Talk to me about this Earl Thomas skit down, y'all. What's, what's y'all thoughts on that? And, um, I want to know um, what it was, because they said contract detrimental to the team, so that means that it had to be a, a few things that uh, went on. But they were saying that he used to be late for team meetings, you know, I was supposedly coming out now. Late for team meetings, and uh, nobody really liked playing with him. But I ain't never heard anybody talk bad about him. Um, I, I, think when it's, it's open. I think that they had been trying to get rid of him or find a way to get rid of him ever since that shit happened in the offseason. With his wife? That was my point. Yeah, yeah. his wife pulling that gun on him. I think that was pretty much that what opened the paperwork, and then they just piled everything else on. I, I think that opened the should the, like, hey, should the Players Association the fight for him? Should the who? Players Association fight to get his money. Uh, do you agree with that? Uh, I don't I don't agree that they got rid of him, but in, in regards to them trying to protect their brand, I see why they did it. Because the uh, Ravens are trying not to pay him now. <laughs> they always try to get out of playing the players when they when the money comes up. Yeah, they always do that. Bro. I mean, supposedly the what the story is he uh, missed an assignment and and uh, dude got mad and he, uh, slammed his helmet. Back. Yeah. Yeah, he uh, like threw his helmet and his buddy just lost it out of his face. So. I guess they was like, that's it. Well, I mean, I don't know anybody to pull back, but it's just my D great. Aunt, Aunt D great and Joe, do y'all want him to go to the. How about the Cowboys? Uh, they said no already. They said no already. Um, his best bet is going to the Tennessee Titans and playing fullback and blocking for uh, Derrick Henry. You did it very well in the championship. You silly man. <laughs> <laughs> you dumb as hell. Because he did it very well in the championship. <laughs> For a second, I almost was like, what? I'm glad you said pause. Well, actually. <laughs> yeah, man, I, mean, I hope you, um, I mean, you should find a spot, man, but where you going to go to, like, the Jets? They need safety. Um. <laughs> yeah, they need a safety bad. They trade away Jamal. I don't... Hey, man, how will this preseason, no preseason, affect the players? Hey man, uh, Mitch, uh, Mitch didn't have no preseason last year. 
man. If that's any, if that's any indication, this is gonna be a horrible season. 